Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Faimi, for your time on the program. Because a lot of people are asking right now, because you're a lawyer, and the question I wanted to ask you is the legality uh, surrounding the decision of the president. Is it right? Absolutely right. This was, this was what uh, Obasanjo should have done in 1999, when everybody went to beg him. Afen Ferry begged him. Notable politicians went to beg him. He said, no, no lie. It's not going to happen. So that was when we, uh, we understood that uh, Obasanjo hated Abiola, not just from secondary school, but even to the grave. Those are very strong ones there, uh, yes, Mr. Faimi. But legally about. speaking, legally speaking, you think that the president made the right move? Because uh, if you look at the, uh, the debate on the floor of the House, is it, is, is it right legally? Is it in the right path, legally speaking? Well, it's the right path because, um, you see, May, there was no basis for May 29 existing. This was just something, just like uh, Hafsa said, that came out of the uh, head of uh, uh, General Obasanjo, uh, President Obasanjo, when he was uh, when he was elected uh, president. And this this was an arrangement which involved him, Abdul Salami, and um, Ibrahim Babangida. So they, they decided that June 12 would die a natural death, but they were shocked. We continue to agitate and happily 25 years on i'm happy mr uh, uh daddy wale is there with you we have achieved our aim he's now listening to the people all right uh, Mr. Mohamed Fahim, it's a pleasure talking to you, and I must say, congratulations. Perhaps we will see you on uh, June 12, when I think the government will uh, uh, do the honours uh, of uh, making that physical, the honours, uh, the national honours, to your late father and uh, the others. Thank you so much, Mr. Fahim.